Panda's standard deviation. So you want to find out how spread out your data is. Well, you're going to want to find out what is your standard deviation. And Pandas does this really easy for us. We can either do it right on top of a Pandas series or a column of our data set or on top of a data frame. So let's check out what this looks like. The first thing that I'll do is I'll import Pandas as PD. But then I'm also going to import a couple other libraries just to help me with some plotting. Because when I like to explain standard deviation, it really helps if there's a visual. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll import matplotlib. I'm going to import numpy to do some random numbers. And I'm going to set my random seed equal to 42. This means that you'll be able to generate the same random, random numbers that I'm generating. I'll import this. Great. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I need to create a data frame with a certain amount of data points. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create 500 data points and I'm going to create a data frame with two different columns. One which has a low variance, meaning the numbers aren't going to be spread out that much. And one with a high variance, meaning they are going to be spread out that much. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pull this from uh, NumPy's random normal distribution. Now, no need to worry about these, but if you have questions about what these parameters mean, please leave a comment. And so let's go ahead and print this out. And what you'll see here is I get a data frame. And here I'm just showing the first five rows, but I have two columns, a low variance column and a high variance column. Okay. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I want to plot these points out so that I can see basically what they look like. Now, there's going to be a lot of kind of matplotlib uh, custom functions here, but um, I'll go through the first one and explain it, and then let's take a look at the charts. Okay, So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set my y limits, meaning I only want to uh, bound my y axis to a certain amount of viewing, specifically negative 40 to 40. I'm going to give it a title. I'm going to actually plot out my uh, scatter plot, and my x is going to be the axis of my data frame, and my y is going to be the values within the data frame for a specific column. This first one is going to be the low variance. And then I'm going to plot an h line, and this stands for horizontal line, because I just want to plot the mean of what my data is showing me. I'm going to show it so that, pan, uh, so that uh, matplotlib will do two plots for me. And so what I get here is, let me zoom out briefly, I get two charts. The first one's gonna be a low variance chart, and you can see how these data points are pretty close together. This means that there's actually low standard deviation, which we're gonna find out in a second here. The second plot is gonna have a high variance data points, meaning that there's a high standard deviation, and you can see how these points are very spread out. So what I wanna do here is I actually wanna calculate the standard deviation on my low variance data set and on my high variance data set and see what that looks like. And the way that we're gonna do that is we're simply gonna call, let me zoom in again, we're simply going to call data frame and then call the column that we wanna get the standard deviation for and then call dot STD. So here in this case, I'm doing my low standard deviation or my low variance. And you can see that my standard deviation is 1.96. That means the standard deviation of this data set right here is 1.96, okay? Now, the second thing that I'll pull out is going to be the standard deviation of my high variance data set. I'll go ahead and run this. And here you can see that my standard deviation is going to be 8.8. .8. And so without going into exactly what these units mean, what you should understand is that the higher the number, the more spread out the data. So in this case, because 8.8 .8 is higher than 1.9, that means that there's going to be more spread on the high variance data, which is what we observe within the charts here. Okay. Now, the second thing that I'll show you is that you can actually call .std on your entire data frame. So here, instead of calling on a specific column, I'm calling on the whole data frame. I'll run this, and you can see here it calculated it on both columns, the my low variance column and the high variance column. Okay? So that is Panda's standard deviation and how to pull it from your series or data frame. Now, a little extra here is I'm going to plot kind of a, a bit more of a complicated graph. And I want to see what these standard deviations look like plotted on my, uh, on my charts. And so what I want to see is, okay, well, where is one standard deviation above the mean? Where is two standard deviations above, above the mean? And then likewise on the negative axis, one below and one above. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create another chart, set my y, y limits. I'm going to give it a title because it's my high variance data. And I'm going to plot one line here that is going to be my mean. And this is just going to be a regular uh, solid line. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a for loop. And I'm going to go through uh, below two standard de deviations, below one standard deviation, above one standard deviation, and then above two. 
And then in this for loop, what I'm going to do is I'm going to calculate where that standard deviation is above the mean. And then I'm going to plot it with an H line. So because I have one, two, three, four iterations, I'm going to get four different lines and I'm going to plot the text uh, next to the line so that we can see which one is. Go ahead and run this. And what we can see here is that the black line is going to be our mean. The first green line is going to be one standard deviation above the, and then two standard deviations above one standard deviation below and two standard deviations below. So if you were doing anomaly detection and you wanted to see any data points that were above two standard deviations from the mean, well, then you can see here any blue dot above the two line would be the ones that you would consider uh, outliers or anomalies. Now that is Panda's standard deviation.